Hey guys, it's Robin the Heart with La Palm Magazine, and I'm here with a special guest today, Julie Lake. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you for being here with us today. Thanks for having me. Yeah, definitely. So I know you from Orange is the New Black. I know you play Angie Rice. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, I love that show. I'm a big fan. Oh, cool. And I'm thank sure you. you meet lots of people who are huge fans. Yeah, I mean, the show has a lot of fans. I feel like people don't recognize me that often. Or maybe they do and they don't always say something, mm -hmm. but whenever people recognize me, I'm, I'm always like, oh God, I need to put some makeup on. Like, I must look horrible no! right now. <laughs> I'm almost like insulted. They're diehard fans. Because <laughs> being next to you, you're like, okay, I see it, but it's definitely night and day. Definitely night and day. So, <laughs> did you, you think that the series was going to do as well as it's been doing? I didn't, I mean, I think everybody was really surprised. I think, you know, when you're an actor, you never know what you're getting into. Right. I thought I was just going to do like a couple lines in one episode of the show. Mm -hmm. And then they asked me to do another episode and then another one. And then it came out. And I remember people started telling me, they're like, you know, I heard a review of like your show on, on NPR. And, you know, they say it's a great show, and like people really like this show. Yeah. And I was like, "Oh, weird." I, thought, I didn't know I was going back or anything. Yeah. And then, and then it was, you know, I went back for five seasons, and it was such a huge deal. And you know, it's huge. Kind of crazy. It's so. very crazy, I would think. <laughs> but I know that you've been acting for years now. Yes. You did a lot of theater work, correct? Right? Yes, I did a ton of theater in New York City and. Basically all through my childhood. Yeah. Yeah. Forever. So, okay, so what do you prefer now that you've done film? Theater or film? I actually think, okay, I love the rehearsal process of theater okay. because you're like, you know, like rolling around with the actors and like doing stupid actory like games and uh -huh. like bonding and you're all best friends and right. you're discovering and it's so much fun. But then once you go into a run, for me, theater can get like a little bit boring. I don't like the grind of the like eight shows a week, you know, but um, I, so I miss the rehearsal process of theater, but I, I love like, I just love that being on camera is so spontaneous and it's like here and then it's gone. But then you sometimes miss that like, but I want to see you every day, man. <laughs> like, where's our best friend bonding right, time, right. you know, so. Right, and how is that with, I mean, it's mostly women on the cast, so yeah. is that, does it get catty at times, or is everyone no. a loving family? <laughs> yeah, like, you would think it would be really catty, and I've also heard, like, people on other shows saying that the dynamic is horrible, so mm -hmm. I think we're really lucky that we're just, it's actually a great group of women, and some of those girls are my best friends now, That's and, awesome. um, yeah, no, I mean, it, we were pretty lucky, yeah. so. Yeah, that's great, that's great. So, yeah. I know, well, we all know that Angie looks great in an orange jumpsuit. Uh -huh. <laughs> but oh, yeah. what does Julie like to wear? Are you more of a glam girl or more natural? What's your look? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I would say I am like super lazy. <laughs> <laughs> like I like to wear what is the most comfortable thing that I can possibly wear mm -hmm. that is not hot, okay. that's like loose on my body. So I wish I could just get a stylist who would get me like beautiful like gowns that fit all those, you know. Should well. we work on that, right? Yeah. <laughs> if somebody wants to like work on that for me, I'd be really open to your help because I just try to find like whatever is like loosest, coolest, most comfortable. But I think in my dream world, I love like 1930s like vintage oh. old Hollywood style gowns. Okay. With, with maybe some like Converse or something. That would be cute. I could definitely see you rocking that. I think you would be cute in that. I have I've noticed that you post a lot about mermaids. So yes. Are you a mermaid? Or oh were God. you a mermaid in a past life? <laughs> I've always wanted to be a mermaid. I got into this whole industry singing Part of Your World by The Little Mermaid. When okay. I was in first grade, I auditioned for the talent show at our, our school singing that song and I got in. Nice. Um, and you know, first graders weren't allowed to be in the talent show. Really? But I like my mom says I like asked the principal and I don't even know if that's true or if my mom made that up, but somehow I got to be a first grader in the talent show singing and it went from singing to acting. But yeah, I wrote a whole pilot about man eating mermaids and mermaids really? that we're pitching right now that I'm really excited about. I'm interested to see that. That's I love awesome. that emotion. I love being in the water. I'm like not happy unless I've been in the water. Nothing wrong with that, nothing yeah. wrong with that. Okay, yeah. so you're more of the aerial mermaid or you 
with the myths that they're sirens. Right. Ooh. <laughs> sure. I feel like I'm more of a siren mermaid. Oh. I'm like a witchy, sort of evil, okay. various mermaid that lures men to their watery deaths. I'm sure some men would like that. <laughs> um, what else do you have coming up that we need to look out for? I'm in uh, the next season of Big Little Lies, and I am pitching a couple shows that I would also be starring in. Nice. One is a horror comedy um, about an evil sort of demonic house. Uh, and the other one is the one I told you about, right. Murr, which is a, a pilot about man-eating mermaids. Nice. It's, horror, it's also a horror comedy, so nice. I'm doing a lot in the horror comedy genre. So you're very busy. I am very busy. Nice. Okay, so it's we good. have a lot to look forward to from you. Yes. Let's <laughs> pray. I'm sure it will all go well. So thank you so yeah. much for being here today with us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Of course. If people um, aren't following you already on social media, where can they follow you at? Um, Julie underscore underscore Lake on Instagram. Okay. Um, and I'm on Facebook too. Just look Julie Lake and you'll find me.